That might be S tier. We made this video as an excuse to try every single milk tea boba flavor at Gongcha. That is. It's like a CBS receipt. Right. I don't know anything about that though. I think we have to, we have to frame this. Thank you so much for that. Got our boba. We just ordered every milk tea from Gangja. We're trying every single milk tea from Gangja. We're doing this because, you know, you go to Gangja, they have so many options. And sometimes I'm standing there in the line, wow, that sounds good, that sounds good, that sounds good. I wanna try them all. Maybe this can help you to make a better decision on what to order next time. If you're a boba drinker, I think you know, once you pick the one that you like, you haven't explored the whole menu yet. Yeah. You play it safe every time you go and you 100%. get the one you know you like. Yeah. But we're gonna try every single one today, so you don't have to do that. We're gonna rank them from S tier to F tier. And we also didn't get all the drinks with boba in them, so don't come at us for that. We just uh, got some of the drinks with boba because if you actually look up, if you eat too much boba, it's not really good for you. We're trying to play it safe. We're trying to stay alive. First up, we've got the double coconut milk tea. There's little bits in the bottom. Take a look. Alrighty. I'm not very good at this. It's okay. There you go. Mmm. Interesting. Whoa. It's good. Is that pineapple at the bottom? But it has like a coconutty taste to it. You reminds me of? Mm. Pina colada. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. like pina colada, this is a boba that's like pina colada. Mm. I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Exactly like pina colada. This is actually perfect for summer. So I could see me getting a lot in summer. I feel like we're starting off really strong. I think I love coconut, so I'm a bit biased. I think honestly like I, I agree. Already, that's something I wouldn't have ordered before. I'm so glad we're trying it now because I would absolutely order that now. Brown sugar milk tea. Hmm. To me, it reminds me of classic milk tea. It's good, but the brown sugar flavor to me isn't... It's subtle. Yeah, hence why it is really like just classic milk tea. It's a very like play it safe flavor. Yeah. Since it's mid, I'll give it a mid score. Yeah, 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 100%. I'm honestly even thinking like D. D? It's good, but it's not exciting. We've got green milk tea right now, and this is, I think, green tea, but with milk. That face isn't... Oh, it's because... It's because you're not going to expect it. Oh my god. So you get that bitterness of the green tea. But you really get it. You feel like because it's so milky, you're not going to have it. You're not going to have it, yeah. The bitterness, the earthiness. I would get it with pearls. Yeah. However, yeah. still yeah. mid C. Just because like you can have a green tea at home, okay? I wouldn't do C for this. I put it in the same category as D. the last one, D. Right. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Also, if I were to get a green tea, I'd get a green tea. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want a green tea bag seeped in milk. Mm -hmm. The mid ones are perfect for adding a lot of toppings. Yeah, hundred percent. If you're a toppings person, throw a bunch of toppings in there, and yeah. it'll, it'll be cool. Next up, we've got a melon latte. Melon is interesting, so we'll see how we go. You can take the melon latte. This is actually exciting me. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> like nothing for me to go off. Hmm, I don't taste melon. It doesn't taste like an artificial melon, but it tastes like how a melon tastes. Mm. Very subtle sweetness. I'd put it in C tier, to be honest. Really? Okay. Just really like, okay. let it sit in your mouth. No. Next. C tier. Cookie chocolate milk tea. It has a like real good mix. Stuff on the bottom. Oh. I think it's like chocolate syrup. But is the cookie like, is that the cookie? Mm. Mm. Oh, that's it. cookie bit, bits. I don't like the chocolate flavor. It's like when you buy chocolate at the cheapest store and you're like, or you know, or your grandma gives you chocolate and it's like been in the cupboard for two years. I would be so surprised if anyone bought it and liked that. I'm a chocolate girl. Well, the cookie bits are just weird floating in there. Yeah, right. <laughs> and there's no crunch to them whatsoever or anything. Which, that could be because we, maybe it's sat a little bit. Yeah, it's just really wet chocolate. I don't like it. Floating in your drink. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we have to give our first F tier, nothing personal to the cookie lovers. Yeah, F tier, but if you like it, it's okay. 
Ugh. Honeydew melon. That is way more of a melon taste. Okay, this is Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Holy moly, imagine that. Oh, the aftertaste. Wow, the, imagine that with like aloe toppings mm. or like something. Oi. I love this one. That's really good. It's like tropical, it's refreshing, it's different, it's unique, but it's like delicious. Yeah. Is this something I want every time? No. But I would get it a lot. I, I don't want it every lot. time, yeah. but it's like when I am having the best day of my life and it's like a beautiful summer's day. It's up there with and Pina Colada. And I've been Colada. to the beach all day. Yeah. It's up 100%. there with the... Such good flavor. With the coconut one. A tier for sure. A tier. All right, this is taro milk tea. This is actually something I order a lot. Yeah. Because I love taro flavor. So we already know it's good. But first... <gasps> Hold on. You already bent it. <laughs> there we um, go. Is it thick? It just has like um, bits in it. Does it really? I don't like bits. I don't mind though, cause it's kind of like- He was like, you want it thick or smooth? And he was like, thick? And I was like, that's not like traditional. I like traditional. that. It's kind of like when you get orange juice and you get pulp. Mm. I love the flavor. Yeah, flavor is amazing, but you know what? This was what I would have got every time, or matcha. And now that I've been like exposed to these other flavors, like I feel like a new woman. Mm. It's delicious. This with pearls, perfect on a summer's day. On a summer's day. Well, this I feel like Bobo is like a <laughs> celebration of amazing weather and life. You've got something. I've always had my eye on this one. Really? I've never ever had the balls to order it. Mango green milk tea. So it's green tea and mango. Yes. The mashup of the century. I hope it tastes good. Different. <laughs> Finally, something that's like, hits you in the taste buds. Oh yeah, nah, this is, I'm enjoying this one. Mango green milk tea. Okay, that might be S here. It's just fun. It delivers on everything. Oh my gosh, that is really good. I love mango. That, no, oh my gosh. I feel like this is S tier. That reminds me of like this mango ice cream. Yes, exactly. It reminds me of a mango, mango ice, cream, ice cream. Like a mango sorbet. Yes, this is honestly is probably my so new favorite. good, yes. This is my new favorite. It's really, 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 really good. Now that I've let it settle. Mango green milk tea, S tier. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Congratulations. Is that the song huh? for Esther? It's a fun drink. This is something that I've been thinking from the beginning. Strawberry, this how do you pronounce that? Good. It's like French, like olite. I don't know French. You guys pronounce all that? Olite. <laughs> Strawberry olite. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Strawberries and cream vibes. Mm. You know when you have like Nesquik stra strawberry milk? It's really yummy. Yeah, if you're a strawberry fan, like strawberry milk. I think A tier. This is really good. Yeah, A tier. Yeah. A tier, tier, you will enjoy this. This is a really good yeah. strawberry milk. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like you're, you're never always in the mood for a strawberry milk, which yeah. is why I couldn't put it S tier. Yeah. But A tier because strawberry milk, sometimes you just have that craving. Yeah. Absolutely. Now you know where to go. Okay, so this is the classic OG pearl milk tea. This is probably the first boba that was ever invented in circa 1600. I got flamed for not knowing how to eat Vegemite, which is cap. Boo, you stink! I remember when I first had boba for the first time. Classic flavor. This is like that. The classic boba. Oh, we finally get the pearls. <laughs> I'm like, what's missing from this experience? Yeah. I've just got a mouthful of pearls right now. But if we had the pearls up to this point, we'd be so full. Mm hmm 100%. It's, it's so classic. Good. It's classic, but I can't put it in amazing. If you have no idea what to get at a boba spot, classic pearl milk tea. Yeah, like this is um, you've got an Asian friend that takes you, do you ever get boba? And you're like, oh my gosh, is that the drink with the little things? I've seen them online. And you look at the menu and you're like, oh, and she gets a mango ali -san. And you're like, oh my gosh, Those what? ones are good. And then you're like, I don't know what to get. So you're like, I'll just get that one. 
this is actually a true story of how I first ordered boba. My first time having boba was high school. There was a boba shop that just opened up across the street and all the Asian kids went there. Mm. And you just, you just knew it was the spot because it was the coolest spot to go to because they had a pool table, mm. they had couches. Whoa. Like, they made it a hangout. Whoa. So it wasn't just like, get your boba and leave. Yeah. It was like, get your boba, your family. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> B tier. Did you buy this one time? It's your intro, and then you're ready for the, the rest of the Yeah, menu. this is the gateway drug. Into, this is the gateway. Into boba town. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oolong. Oolong milk tea. So what's the difference between oolong and every other tea? It's just like green tea in every other tea. It's, I think, oolong leaves. Which is the plant. Okay. Oolong. It's very smooth and I think it complements the milk pretty well. It's almost like blending with the milk flavor. It does, but now I'm confused because when I get it in like the regular oolong without milk, it tastes super different. I've completely lost like the oolong flavor yeah. I know oh, I love. Shit. <laughs> These like challenge videos are so funny. <laughs> like you get delusional. You get delusional. <laughs> It's like people who drive like a, a Jaguar. Subaru? Oh. It's like, no, I don't want a Mercedes. I don't want a BMW. Right, I right. I want a Jaguar. Like you, Oolong milk tea is a, a really Jaguar. interesting. Of milk teas. I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> like, I honestly, this is missing the mark for me. tier. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing special. No. But it's like, it's, I don't taste it the screams oolong. I'm better than you. Like, if someone gifted this to me with some pearls, I'd be like, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Stream the trash. But, I would never order it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> She's speaking a whole different language now. <laughs> DTF. Cookie milk tea. This is actually making me sick. Wow, we're 12 in. Which is... Uh, it's like chocolate milk. Cookies and cream chocolate milk. I'd say D tier, it's not my fave, but- I agree, D tier Cookie for lovers, chocolate. chocolate milk lovers, you'll enjoy this. Yeah. D tier. D tier. Earl Grey milk tea this is with, a classic. with certain toppings are in yep. there. There's Some three things of, in there. It's called like yeah. the three J's. Mix her up, I see. I like this more than oolong for sure. Mm. I love Earl Grey. There's just like something a bit more fragrant about it. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm, I'm getting at. I'd order that like more than four times. What does that even mean? <laughs> I almost choked on a boba bowl. B tier. <laughs> yeah. But as far as like the tea flavors, this is really good. As good as it gets, like it's up there with taro. I actually might give it A tier. Yeah, I agree. It's A tier. Yeah. Oh, like it's it's like a really good fragrant tea. Yeah. I feel like if you're a tea lover, this is the highest tier of, of like plain, simple boba mm -hmm. tea. Especially with the pearls, like it's just, yes. it's refreshing. Brown sugar. I feel like we had a brown sugar. We did, we did, but I'm like, what's different about this There's guy? something different about Which this. Okay, so the last one was brown sugar milk. This is brown sugar milk tea. Okay, let's see if this, if we taste a difference. Yeah, I like this one more. Yeah. Yeah, I like it, but it's still not doing too much for me. So, what did C2. you say? C2. C2. Yeah, I can agree with that. If you like put toppings on it again, it would be better. But yeah. I still think Earl Grey Taro is yeah. like better than Earl Grey is better than Yeah, 100%. Taro coconut milk tea. Oh, yeah. Because I thought it was like... Mmm. Wow. I feel like that enhances the taro Have flavor. Have we been missing out? I think so, because I'm a big fan wow. of coconut. Me too. And coconut milk. Me too. Mm. I gave the taro one A tier, but this one's better. So then does that one become B and this is A? Because I don't think this is S. Honestly. That's A tier, the other one, you're knocked down knocked to B down. tier. Caramel, milk tea. Very Help. Help. I'm a caramel fan, but. I know you are. But maybe it needs to be sweeter. It's not giving me what I love about caramel. Oh, I disagree. I taste the caramel. No, it's I taste like it, a... but it's like. I love caramel when and it's really sweet. You wish it was a bit more caramel. I really, because I, I don't usually love caramel because it's like a bit too much. Mm. I actually love this because it is lighter. 
and it's like a caramel hint. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like the Western world meets boba. Caramel's like a big, big thing when drinks with in Starbucks. Mm, right, right. So it reminds me of like a Starbucks experience. Yeah. I don't know if I'd ever order it just because so many yeah. other flavors are I'd say C tier. This is honey milk tea. I feel like this would be really good if it was warm. Yeah, right? Like on a cold winter day, some warm honey milk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm very subtle. It's comforting. It's like something your grandma would make you. It could be more of a honey flavor. Like, I feel like they missed the opportunity to really make this, like, That's true. honey. That's true. Because I, like, only in the end, when my mouth is, like, completely empty, do I get, like, the hint of, like... I want it to be, like, a honeycomb yeah. just, like, smacked you in the mouth. Exactly. D tier. Could have been, could have been better. Could have been better. D tier. Yeah. Milk tea. Milk tea. <laughs> Bland. It's just like you're drinking milk with a little bit of tea. I think that's an F tier. So bland. Yeah. F tier. Yeah, it should just be milk. Yeah, it's just like milk. Every single time we Is go there. Is it sticky brown? Yes, it's sticky brown. Look at that stickiness. I wonder if it's like a caramel flavor. Look at that stickiness. Yo, this is like, I've ordered this a bunch of times. Oh, you have? Yeah, remember? I looked no. at the poster and I was like, give me that. Oh, I thought you hadn't had it. And then they're like, okay. Yeah. Mm. This is what I wish like the honey milk tea and the brown sugar was like, but you have to get it with boba because the brown sugar and the sticky mm. bits stick to the boba. You're so right. Get into it and the boba's so sweet. Exactly. It's not in the milk tea yeah. itself. It sticks to mm. the boba. The boba's really good. And it makes the boba experience up there. Mm. A tier, not S tier because I found some new favorites which made this look mm -hmm. less exciting. Mm -hmm. So this would have been S tier previous to this situation really? we have going on. It's still up there, A tier. Okay, so the finale. It's given our last experience with mango. This is mango fresh milk with mango pearls. Mango fresh milk with mango pearls. Gongcha. The mango was S tier, so. I do like it. But is it like, whoa, like mm. could it be too much mango? Mm. And I don't know if I like mango pearls that much. Yeah, it's still mango, but it's weird. This mango flavor doesn't feel like as strong or as delicious as the other mango. It means this can't be S tier. It can't be A tier. I think it's, it's not like, that exciting. I think it's B, B tier. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel oh, after this gosh. whole boba Just fiasco? Eye-opening. It's really shown me that like flavors that I I really really loved, although they are good, I, I've not been like stuck on the 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 mid ones, but there's so much more out there. I have new favorites now. Yeah. And when I go back to Gongsha, it changed my whole idea of what I'm gonna get now. Yeah. Yes. And we let us know if you want you. to do anything else. Let us know yeah. your favorite boba drinks in Please. the comments, and see you next time. Gongcha! Congratulations!